look who it is up there. I know that guy. I was planning on introducing my dad in this video in a couple of seconds when I meet him at the farm that we're gonna take a look at right now. But I made a wrong turn and had to go down a totally separate road. But he was turning around on that road because he missed the farm too. And he's like, he was like, where is this place? I don't know how to get there. So it's just funny that like, because of my missed turn, I was able to show him where it is. Very, very, very funny how things work out. Like even in the smallest details, it's very funny how, how things work out. Here we are. Whoa, this is the farm that I may or may not have snuck into a couple months ago. Everything looks, almost everything's taken. What are we doing here today, Dad? I don't know, <laughs> trying to figure out if this is worthwhile to plant our stuff. These plots of land on this big farm over here. For, they raised the prices, $35 this year instead of $25. <laughs> still cheaper than eggs. Yeah, it's still cheaper um, than eggs. So this is F25, so it's going to be these plots right in here. So they just cleared all this. So it's not even like we get to use anything that was left behind. So if you saw the vlog, maybe, I think actually I could tell you, I think the date was January 6th. No, because that's Bullet's birthday. So maybe January 3rd. It was around, it was around there, the first week of January. I distinctly remember because I, I came here after being at the church, helping somebody out, move some stuff. So it was around that date and I came in like, I want to see what it was looking at. And essentially what it is, is it's a, it's a community garden where there's 300 plots or something like that. On there, you, you essentially just rent. You have to be a town member. You have to live in the town and you rent it. It's $35 for the year, which is so crazy cheap. They provide water, they provide, you know. So like, all you have to do is really essentially maintain it. It's a 30 by 20 plot, which is pretty big. I was like, this is really cool. And as they got closer, I'm like, I don't know, man. I feel like it actually might be a lot of work. And it's like 12 minutes from my house, which is not that far, but it's still 12 minutes. So it's 25 minutes of driving just to get to it, like there and back. So my only consideration if I were to do it, which I'm leaning towards not, I kind of want to reconsider like what things look like at my house and how I can restructure things to make the most of it. Only consideration if I were to do it would it be my set it and forget it kind of plants in the sense that things like onions, for example. Onions are, take like a hundred days to grow. And once they're in the ground, you kind of just leave, other than watering them, you just leave them and you don't do anything until you harvest them. As opposed to, for example, like lettuce, where like I would be harvesting lettuce all the time. Or tomatoes where like they kind of ripen at different times, so you kind of have to check them every day. Onions or like maybe heading things, so for example like cabbage or cauliflower, these things were like, they take a while to grow and you don't really do anything with them other than kind of just water them, maybe fertilize every once in a while while they're growing. It's kind of just waiting. Even to some degree carrots, but the ground has to be really soft for carrots. Um, so stuff like that. So this way I could utilize my space at home for things that I, I can actually harvest on a daily basis, like like this, like leafy greens, like spinach. And I don't know, it was just a thought. The idea though, like if I would, I would have to water at least, at least every other day, if not every day. And with that said though, well, like, what does that look like? Like, could I take my phone and, you know, respond to my YouTube, make that my, my, while I just sit there waiting for that thing to be watered, I just, um, I use that time to respond to my YouTube comments. Like, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Or I just sit there and try and song, right? That's also not a bad idea. You know, I don't know. Just definitely, definitely, definitely things to consider. Take a peek at where me and my dad are going for breakfast. Come on now. You know, you already know. Green Lawn Family Restaurant, baby. Dude, what a phenomenal time. That was like, I had such a blast with my dad, like hanging out and just talking about everything. Like I'm so, so grateful for the relationship he and I have and, and I, that I have with the rest of my family, my mom, my sister, and my, my like just whole extended family. I'm just, I don't take it for granted. I'm really, really, really grateful. But I just left my friend Jamie's house. Uh, well, Jamie and Melissa are really great friends of ours. Jamie, uh, we have very similar interests. So I picked up some stuff from the garden for him, from him. Uh, something called neem oil, which is hopefully going to help me kill the bugs that are in my garden, in my uh, in my greenhouse, killing and sucking the nutrients out of my uh, leafy greens. So hopefully we're able to kill that, man. Come on now. All right, we got a handy dandy neem oil or sprayer. This is a uh, lavender that he grew, and I uh, I'm going to dry out. 